He's barely hooked. Oh, one just... Guys, Joey just snope. Just, I'll, I'll net him. Tell me to help you net him. Nice. Oh, that's a nice bow. That's actually a nice bow, bro. Just get him in. Just get him in. I'll get him. Come on. That's a nice one. Wow, on the double rig too. It looks like the the egg with the hook is in its mouth and the the spoon is just kind of stuck to him. Man. Oh, actually, oh wow, it looks like the spoon is actually in his top fin and the egg is in his mouth. Wow, he's hooked with both. He's actually hooked pretty good. He's really pretty. Ah, oh, dang it. The hook just popped out of its mouth. He's barely hooked. Bro, he's only attached to, by the by the fin, and he's not very attached very good to it. If I don't get him in a minute, he's gone, bro. Got him. Got him. It's a nice one. Oh, my gosh. Bigger than your last one. Let's get him in the water. Whew. The hook popped out of his mind. Should we count it? Uh, yeah, because he, he attacked. I'm so lucky, but... So as you all are probably wondering, how the heck is he hooked twice? Well, we used a rig that consists of a spoon and a trout egg on a hook. It's a crazy rig. I'll explain it in a future bit. Get him. First rainbow trout over. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There he is. Let's get him in the water. Oh dear. Just crush the spinner. There he is. Gorgeous rainbow. Okay, we are at the sink now. And it looks pretty yummy. But um, apparently you have to cook it because it's not very good broth. I did a pretty decent job cleaning it, and I you know, just washed it off. Apparently, so yeah, we got our nice, beautiful rainbow trout. So now we're gonna bring it over to the paper towel. This is a paper towel, and we're gonna just kind of pat it dry so we can fill her up with seasonings and all that, the yummy stuff. We got our olive oil right here. We're just gonna just brush our trout. Just give it a nice, just nice even brushing of olive oil. 
Even the fin, olive oil. Bottom fin, olive oil. Whatever this fin is, olive oil. Gotta get that olive oil everywhere. Okay, so next thing's next. We're gonna be using some Mexican seasoning because I don't know how to cook trout, so we're just gonna throw some seasoning on and see what happens. I think we got this green stuff right here that's called cilantro, I think. So we're gonna take our cilantro and just get inside the trout where we're supposed to put the cilantro. Okay, so we got our cilantro and we're dashing all that cilantro. Is that too much? I need to get it right here. What about down there? We need to get down there too? Yeah. There you go. Apparently that's a lot of cilantro. So now we got this garlic powder. And it is very powdery. It's gonna garlic powder the inside of this trout up. And this should be good. If you guys wanna see more videos of me in the kitchen, be sure to leave a like and comment. Okay, now we got some salt. Get a little bit in there. I mean, so now we got our, our lime juice. We're using the finest lime juice, by the way. Here it is. Apparently that's enough lime juice. And now we have our trout. This is our, our wonderful trout. I'm sorry if the lighting's bad. It, it might just be bad. That's not my fault. We got our trout in this perfect packaging, as you can see. Oh. So this is the trout. As you can see, it's in tin foil. It smells kind of like fish. So, wow. Yeah, it's very, it looks cooked to me. Oh wow, pretty juicy. It does look juicy looking. Definitely Literally, done. You can see it steaming juice. There you go. Got our, our trout. Premium non-boneless trout right here. Yep. We got our yummy looking trout. As you guys can see, the skin just peels right off to reveal that nice, tender filet right there. Ooh, looks yummy. Hey, we got our first bite of trout right here. Drop it all on the table. Um, not bad. It kind of tastes like chicken. Maybe it's just the way that I cooked it, but actually, Ooh, bones. That's actually very good. It definitely tastes like seasoning. That's good. Doesn't taste like anything I've ever tasted fish wise. Like it's not salty and kind of tastes like chicken. It's a flaky. Very good. I would probably eat it again. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more catching cooks, please be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys till next time. Goodbye.